And sad news to report tonight from Glacier National Park. The main structure of the Sperry Chalet was taken by the Sprague fire that's been burning on the east side of Lake McDonald since the night of August 10th. Officials say winds pushed flames to the east today, creating an uncontrollable burn that took the structure. We were notified by the team of firefighters that were stationed at the, the Sperry Chalet that uh, the, the main chalet building had been lost from the fire. Over the course of the last uh, seven to eight days, they have um, installed an extensive hose lay, sprinkler, and pump system in the chalet area. Um, we felt that uh, you know it was it was defensible, and um, the fire conditions today just uh, just were very extreme. The five firefighters battling the fire are currently safe and are still in the chalet area actively fighting the fire in an attempt to protect the four remaining structures. They'll remain there overnight. Now the fire grew by 500 acres alone on Wednesday nights, the largest growth the fire has seen since it began. The five firefighters stationed are the only ones who are able to fight the fire as it currently is too dangerous to place any additional firefighters in the area. Sperry Chalet was erected in 1913 by James Jay and his son Lewis Hill who were the main developers of Glacier National Park. The park stood rather unchanged for the 90 years and was uh, the chalet stood unchanged and was one of the staples of